There's a video from 1968 by a teacher by the name of Ida Schultz. And she really took issue with the folks using her as a token. But I want you to hear her response to the whole thing. Let's go ahead and roll that. My name is Ida Schultz. I'm third generation from slavery. I live in Philadelphia. I received my public school education here. I went to college and graduated in home economics education. Answering President Kennedy's call, I went on into the Peace Corps, serving there for two years in the mountain community of Pisac, Cusco, Peru. So many people ask me, why have you become so bitter? You've, be, you've been given everything that any young American could ask for. Well, the whole thing is, just because I've been given everything, it doesn't mean that I should be satisfied. As a matter of fact, I've become very disgusted knowing that my own black sisters and brothers have not had the same opportunity. I feel as though I've been used again. I feel as though you've bought another token. And what I'm disgusted and tired of is tokenism. You say, well, you know, if you're nice, we'll let you live next door to us. And if this happens, we'll do this. Well, what I'm asking for you to do is to stop doing us so many favors. The only thing that we want is not your friendship, is not your love, is not to live next door to you. But we want to know if we should so desire to do this. The opportunity is there. Now, this video from 1968, the same thing that that sister's talking about is happening in 2023. The white supremacist is not a progressive group of people. They don't change anything. They do the same thing day after day, year after year, decade after decade, century after century. They don't change. It's interesting how the same things that this sister's talking about can apply in 2023. They love a token. They want to reward a token. They want to reward a, a sellout. And, but this doesn't say that it don't matter if I'm getting certain things. What about my people? You know, cause the white supremacists sometimes even like to come at me like that and say, well, Phil, you know, it looks like you're doing pretty good for yourself. And you know, I mean, it, it, if you're saying racism so bad, well, how come you're doing good for yourself? First of all, you don't know what I'm doing. That's first and foremost. Number two, it don't matter what I do. If the majority of black people aren't doing good, then I'm not doing good because we are a collective of people. See, we not like y'all. Y'all want to focus on individualism. We are a collective group of people. The African world, the Caribbean world, most black people move better as a collective. The moment that we have started adopting your individualism is why we in the trouble that we in now, even in black America, adopting your individualism has messed up our Sunday dinners with the family. Adopting your individualism has us adopting all your degenerate behavior. Cause uh, you have to understand the degeneracy that black people are doing all that come from the culture of the white supremacists, all the uncouth behavior that you see, it comes from them. That's not our people, but unfortunately they got our people to believe in this individualism instead of collectivism. They got our people to believe that it's okay to do evil, remove shame. So you can do that because they know good well who we are. They've been studying us for, for a long time. My name is Ida Schultz. I'm third generation from slavery. I live in Philadelphia. I received my public school education here. I went to college and graduated in home economics education. Answering President Kennedy's call, I went on into the Peace Corps, serving there for two years in the mountain community of Pisac, Cusco, Peru. So many people ask me, why have you become so bitter? You've, be, you've been given everything that any young American could ask for. Well, the whole thing is just because I've been given everything, it doesn't mean that I should be satisfied. As a matter of fact, I've become very disgusted knowing that my own black sisters and brothers have not had the same opportunity. I feel as though I've been used again. I feel as though you've bought another token. And what I'm disgusted and tired of is tokenism. 
If you say, well, you know, if you're nice, we'll let you live next door to us. And if this happens, we'll do this. Well, what I'm asking for you to do is to stop doing us so many favors. The only thing that we want is not your friendship, is not your love, is not to live next door to you. But we want to know if we should so desire to do this. The opportunity is there. And, w and through individualism is how they divide and conquer black people. See, if we all together and focusing on community, they can't come in too easy because you can gatekeep. This is why I, we have to gatekeep everything for the protection of black people because we can't trust nobody to come around anymore because they have proven time and time again when they come around, is nothing good going to come out of it. They come in with a smile and in the end stab you in the back. So our sister was just addressing this issue. And shout out to her. I don't know where she's at today or maybe she's passed away. I don't know. But, you know, I love to see footage from the 1960s, 1950s, and hear what our people had to say because it just has always interests me that the same things they talk about is so relevant in 2023. You can listen to a Malcolm X speech and you think he's addressing today. You can listen to a speech from Martin Luther King. You thinking he's actually living in 2023 and addressing it. Let you know these people have never progressed. Never. And, and that's kind of archaic that you don't progress, that people are talking about you in the 1960s apply to you today. Man, that's crazy. And let you know white supremacy, anti-black racism is their culture. It's a culture. And that's why they keep doing the same things. But let me know what y'all think about what our sister talked about here, because yeah, nobody wants to be a token and you know, Oh, you, you do this, you can come with us, do it, man. Forget y'all. <laughs> I rather be with my people all day long.